हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कृषि जागरण बिजनेस प्लेटफॉर्म दैट कीप्स यू अपडेटेड विद ऑल द एग्री न्यूज ऑफ द नेशन दिस इज ज्योति सिंह लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द टॉप हेडलाइंस ऑफ द डे यमुना एंड हिंदौन रिवर फ्लड अलर्ट इवैक्यूएशन एज वाटर एक्सीड्स डेंजर मार्क्स इन नियर बाय विलेजेस पंजाब फ्लड डैमेज रीचेज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड करोड़ सीएम मान डॉक्टर सी के अशोक बिकम्स लीड फॉर वेटिवर नेटवर्क ऑफ इंडिया मीट इंडिया यू ए करेंसी ट्रेड टू ब्लॉस्टर बासमती राइज एक्सपोर्ट Farmers delighted as Cuban production cost driver prices. Busted Maharashtra exposes Hyderabad companies fake fertilizer scam targeting farmers. Poly house farming shedding crops from rain and disease with remarkable benefits. Now the news in details. In North India during the monsoon season there are heavy floods happening. The Yamuna River in Delhi and the Hindon River in Uttar Pradesh have risen above dangerous level. Authorities are working quickly to evacuate people from risky areas. As of July 23rd the Yamuna River's water level in Delhi has reached a critical point of 206.44 meters which is beyond the danger mark. Officials are advising those living near the river to move to safer places to go to relief camps. To ensure safety the old Yamuna bridge has been closed from to ensure safety the old Yamuna bridge has been closed from 10:15 pm train routes have been diverted and the Delhi Shahadra route is temporarily suspended by the Northern Railway Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwat Mann announced that the recent flood caused huge damage to the state with loss estimated at around rupees 1000 crore. Heavy rains hit many areas in Punjab and Haryana, disrupting daily life and leading to severe flooding in farms and residential areas. Chief Minister Mann said that a comprehensive report on the flood losses will be sent to the union government. He wants to request a relief package to help the affected communities cope with disaster. Dr C K Ashok chairman of the first world community was unanimously selected to lead the vetiver network of india at the global vetiver leaders meeting this evening eminent professionals from several countries joined the online meeting hosted by mr dominic founder and editor in chief of krishi jagrit agriculture world tractor news and agriculture journalist association of india to frame a road map for creating awareness on the exemplary applications of the wonder grass dr ashok name was proposed by mrs mamta jain editor and CEO Agriculture World Magazine which recently published a special edition on vetiver released at the international conference in Thailand as we know vetiver has the potential to mitigate climate change save the soil and protect our environment along with its immense medical benefits Basmati rice exporters are happy because of the currency trade deal between India and the UAE. These deal will help them have steady earnings and expand the sales to Iran through Dubai. It also lowers the chance of payment problems which is great because of Iran is a crucial market for Indian basmati rice. Farmers are reducing their area under cumin while increasing the area under mustard Fenugreek Greek etc now at the current price of cumin farmers have seen a profit for the first time in many years the cultivation of cumin seeds is like a gamble for us the cost of raw materials has increased many fold while the prices lag behind we are relieved said a farmer it is not understood why everyone is raising a fuss against the price of cumin when the farmers are benefiting when the farmers are suffering due to the low price of cumin no one is saying anything said karasan bhai jadeja a farmer and ceo at banas farm actual producer company 1600 member company in gujarat radhanpur district Maharashtra police have registered a case against the board of directors of a Hyderabad based company along with one of its vendors for allegedly engaging in the sale of counterfeit fertilizers to farmers in Maharashtra beet district this fraudulent activity was uncovered during a joint federation by the beet district agriculture department's quality control team and local law enforcement officials who acted prominently on receiving a tip off regarding the illegal trade the investigation which led to the registration of the case revealed that the company in question did not possess the required permission to distribute fertilizer technology in agriculture is on the rise and in india many farmers are adopting poly house farming to grow various crops 
with poly house technology farmers can cultivate off season vegetables which fetch double the price when sold in the market poly house farming is a cost effective long term investment for farmers helping them earn substantial profit the technique receive up to 50% subsidy from both the central and state government to encourage its implementation during the pre monsoon season many crops are unvaluable to weather conditions however vegetables grown in poly houses remain protected and safe thanks to the enclosed structure and plastic roof and that's all for today's news for more updates on agri news stay tuned with prashi jagran brothers